What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and this video is all about war nickels. And I'm gonna tell you five reasons why they're an absolutely awesome type of silver to stack. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you wanna learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just wanna watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then subscribe to my channel. This video is all about the war nickels. These are an awesome type of silver to stack. In fact, I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think that you should be stacking war nickels. Uh, but before we do that, I'm gonna give you a little bit of info on them if you're not familiar with the war nickel. So we'll just give you the rundown real quick, then we'll get into the reasons why they're awesome to be stacking to actually preserve your wealth. So, buckle up, here we go. The war nickel, was first minted in 1942. The reason that they started making these was because they wanted to actually conserve nickel for the war effort. So uh, the Jefferson nickel started in 1938. It was made of 75% copper, 25% nickel. But during World War II, they obviously wanted to conserve the nickel for like the tanks or whatever. And so they decided to make these out of silver and copper. They got approved to make the nickels out of 50% silver and 50% copper. However, they were the wrong size for vending machines. Uh, keeping them all at five grams, they were just not fitting correctly. So in order to get them to fit correctly, they changed the alloy a little bit and they ended up making them out of 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese. So every war nickel has 35% copper in it. And when they're made at five grams, that equals 1.75 grams of silver. So right now with silver spot price being a little over $17, these are actually worth about 97 cents per war nickel. And like I said, they do have over 50% copper in them, which comes out to about a penny in copper. So if you wanna include that as well, then these are about 98 cents per war nickel. But just looking at the silver content, uh, they're about 97 cents. So with the price of silver going up, the price of war nickels go up. If the price of silver goes down, then the price of war nickels go down. They're usually right around spot price to buy and sell these at. Okay. So that's a little bit about the war nickel. I do wanna mention that in 1942, not all the nickels were made out of silver. They were the regular nickels. And then I think in October, they started making war nickels and they differentiated these from the regular nickels by putting a letter above the Monticello. This is uh, Thomas Jefferson's house. This one happens to be a P that stands for the Philadelphia mint. Uh, so in 1942, to tell if it's silver or not, you gotta look for a letter above the Monticello. It'll either be a P, a D, or an S. So Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. Uh, just a side note, this is the first time a P was ever put on a US coin because the Philadelphia mint didn't have mint marks before this. There was no reason to put it on them because it was the first mint. And uh, then when they wanted to differentiate these between the regular nickels and the silver ones, they put a big P on top. So there you go. So it's either P, S, or D above the Monticello. Now, if it's from 1943, 44, or 45, every single nickel those years were made out of silver, so you don't actually have to look at the back if it's 43, 44, or 45, just on the 42s. Uh, but all of them will still have a big, very easy to see mint mark right there, so. Okay, that's how you tell the war nickels against the regular Jefferson nickels. Okay, so now that we know all about war nickels, let's talk about why they're awesome to stack. So reason number five that war nickels are a great thing to be stacking is that they make your stack look fat. Now, these take up a lot of space. They're only 35% silver. They're actually mostly copper. So for the silver value in war nickels, it takes a lot of room to store these. Now you might be saying, well, silver dragons, don't I want to store as much value as I can in a tiny amount of space? Why would I want my stack to be big and bulky? What are you talking about? Well, I can tell you exactly why you would want your stack to be big and bulky. And that's not just because you want it to look fat, but there's actually a legitimate reason. And that is most of us store our silver 
in safes. You either get like a big 15 or 20 gun safe, throw it in your garage, you know, bolt it down. Maybe you don't put it in your garage, you put it in a hidden room or a bunker or wherever you want to put it. But you bolt it down to the ground and I've seen a lot of people, what they do is they go out and they buy those Olympic weights, you know, the big 45 pounders and they'll throw a ton of those in the bottom of their safe. Just make it as heavy as they humanly possibly can. Well, instead of going out and buying those, guess what you can do? You can go buy war nickels that are big and bulky and heavy and put those at the bottom of your safe. Now, instead of having iron at the bottom of your safe, which is going to rust and over time actually lose value, you will have silver war nickels at the bottom of your safe, weighing it down to make it harder to steal. And over time, these are gonna retain their value because they have silver in them. So just like you're stacking your other types of silver, you know, your 999 silver bullion or your gold or whatever, these have silver in them, the 35%. They're gonna retain their value over time. Price of silver goes up, the price of these will go up. So it's just a win-win. So that's exactly why I think these would be an awesome thing to be weighing down your safe. A lot of people are like, oh, they're just so big and bulky. Well, turn that frown upside down, guys. That can be a really good thing for you. So don't make this your primary stack. You know, obviously stack whatever you want, but this is a great thing to sort of supplement your silver stack and get that weight factor in there, which I think is a great thing that we all need to have. Okay. So that was reason number five. Well, what is reason number four that I think these are an awesome type of silver to stack? And that is that a lot of people don't know this, but they're constitutional silver. And when you go to sell them, you actually do not need to fill out the 1099B form, even if you're selling over $1,000 face value. So some people have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna explain. So. If you're stacking constitutional silver, like 90% silver, uh, dimes, quarters, half dollars, dollars, you will have to fill out a 1099B form if you sell more than $1,000 face value. And that form goes right to the IRS. That's to prevent uh, tax fraud, tax evasion, stuff like that. So if you're selling a ton of silver dimes, for example, you're going to have to fill out one of those forms. It has your social security number on it. It has your name. It has your address on it. And it goes right to the IRS. However, 35% war nickels do not count. So you could sell a million dollars face value of war nickels and not have to fill out that form. I'm getting so excited, guys. Uh, so that's an awesome reason to be stacking these. So really, really cool. Not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people are aware of that, but I had to bring that up in this video. So there you go. Okay, that was reason number four. Well, let's get to reason number three that these are an awesome type of silver to stack. And that is that these are the most fractional of all constitutional silver, even more fractional than the silver dime. So what do I mean by that? Well, a silver dime uh, weighs a total of 2.5 grams. It's 90% silver, so that means that it is 2.25 grams of silver in a silver dime. Now, these, oh, they weigh 5 grams, but they're 35% silver, so they only have 1.75 grams of silver in each coin. So that is 1.75 is less than 2.25 grams. So these can be broken up more into smaller pieces than the silver dimes. I mean, these are only worth, you know, right around 97 cents right now. A silver dime is worth, I think, like a dollar twenty something right now. So if you want to be able to break up your silver into the smallest pieces you can, then this is how you're going to be able to do it for cheap. Now, I know you can buy like 20th of an ounce bullion or one gram silver bullion, etc. But the premiums on those are absolutely out outrageous. I would never recommend buying anything like that. However, the war nickels are super cheap and you can break them down more than all the other types of constitutional silver. So really, really cool. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, a lot of people talk about uh, SHTF. They want to be able to you know, make small purchases with their silver. They don't want to, you know, break up like a 10 ounce bar or something. So they want their silver to be broken down to make change for like a barter 
or exchange or something like that. And so these being the most fractional makes them extremely diverse. So a great thing to be stacking for that pur purpose. So I had to include that, that was number three. What is the number two reason that these are an awesome type of silver to stack? And that is that they're extremely recognizable and easy to tell. So almost everyone knows, I can't think of a single person that doesn't know what a Jefferson nickel is. I mean, these have been around since the 30s, okay? So we have these Jefferson nickels, right? And then, you know, if you wanna figure out if they're silver or not, it's so easy. So all you gotta do, like I said earlier, flip them over, and if they have any letter above the Monticello, then they're silver. I mean, look how easy that is to tell. Boom, D, boom, P, boom, P, right there. These are all silver war nickels. So, so recognizable, so trusted. These are essentially never counterfeited because they're so small, there's just no point to spend all that money to counterfeit something like this for a dollar profit, right? So they're extremely trusted by the public, uh, which makes them extremely liquid. People will trust this if you are selling it to them or exchanging it with, you know, for uh, something else, uh, you know, goods or whatever. So they're really, really trusted, hardly ever faked, super recognizable. I mean, just an all around awesome piece of silver to stack for that reason. You don't want to be stacking a bunch of silver that no one's going to know what it is, like, you know, some type of uh, uh, maybe foreign silver where they're like, well, what is that coin? What percentage of silver is that? I have no idea. You know, these are just really, really well known. You know, pretty much everyone knows about nickels and then the war nickels, a, a lot of people know about them. So this was a really big point in our history, World War II. Uh, so yeah, war nickels, super recognizable. That's the number two reason. No, we just lost one. Oh well, it's only a dollar. <laughs> I'll go get it after the video. Okay, now what is the number one reason to be stacking the war nickels? And that is, these are beyond a shadow of a doubt, the most cheap silver you can regularly buy. These are so cheap. If you're just trying to get your weight up, just trying to stack as much silver as you humanly possibly can, this is the way to do it. A lot of dealers will actually sell silver war nickels below spot. A lot of them sell them at spot, maybe just a hair above. You know, sometimes they'll sell them like 10 cents uh, uh, a premium over spot for an ounce of silver for like silver war nickels, maybe as high as 20 cents. But most of the time you can find these at spot or even below spot for your silver war nickels. So a lot of people are like, oh man, they take up so much room. I don't, I can't really be bothered to be stacking a ton of war nickels. Um, well, they're going to weigh down your safe. So that's like basically free security. And also they're ridiculously cheap. So I don't know why you wouldn't be stacking these. In fact, let me just tell you, I went out uh, today and I looked on some different websites and I was able to find two spot deals and one under spot deal for these war nickels. So absolutely crazy. The first one I found was on Monarch Precious Metals. You can get $2 face value of war nickels at spot. Absolutely crazy. Uh, and then what if you want more than just $2 face value, okay? I found another one at Monument Metals. You can get $200 face value of war nickels, which ends up being 225 ounces of silver at spot. How crazy is that? 225 ounces of silver at spot? That's absolutely insane. I don't know why you wouldn't do that deal. And then if you think that's good, I went out and I found one that's even better. It was from a website I haven't really seen before. I've never bought anything from them before, but it's called uh, Golden Eagle Coins, and you can actually get two ounces, I'm sorry, not two ounces, two dollars face value um, of war nickels for 61 cents under spot. So absolutely crazy. 61 cents under spot per ounce for two dollars face value of war nickels. So, and, and if you think that's a great deal, just go out and start looking. I bet you can find even better deals out there. Go to your local coin shop, shop around, 
uh, ask people, how much do you sell war nickels for? You'll be surprised. You can find some killer deals on these and really get the weight up in your stack for a low price, which brings your cost average down. And there's just so many benefits to stacking silver ridiculously cheap. So though for those reasons, I think that war nickels are actually an awesome type of silver to stack. I'm going to be stacking more of these for sure in the future. Uh, now, if you have anything you would like to add to the conversation, anything at all that I missed, definitely drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little uh, dragon in the middle there and you can subscribe for more awesome videos. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.